Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Today's going to be a den walkthrough. I haven't done one for quite a while now and a lot of things have changed in the den. So I'm going to start off just with the hardware straight away, straight into the, the meat and veg of the den. And there we go. So as you can see, the brushes have had a little bit of an overload now. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll start from here. We've got the Leo Frio Manchester United brush. This one was sent to me by Oyve Chapel on Facebook, or Alex as he's known. Just as a pay it forward, just as a nice gesture. This one here is gorgeous. It's a two band silver tip, I believe, from what he was telling me, 26 mil. It's the Red Dirt Shaving Society, made by Leo Frio also. Also piffed to me by Oyve Chapel. Another Leo Frio, Celtic Champions of Scotland and will be for the foreseeable future at least. 24mm tuxedo bulb knot, beautiful brush, also made by Leo Frio. My first ever custom brush that I ever bought, I still have it, I probably always have it, Manchester United brush to match the other one that Oyve Chapel sent me. Both of, them, both of the Man United brushes have game changer knots in them. I've then got a 24mm sterling, which I haven't used yet, I'm not sure what that's going to be like, I think it might be a little bit scritchy. Similar to the Plusoft knot, but we'll see how we go. That was also piffed to me by Oyve Chapel. This one was purchased for me. My mum actually sent this one over to me. The Omega Barber Pole High Brush. Lovely synthetic. This was my first ever synthetic. This was the one that actually got me into synthetic brushes. And it's still a lovely little brush. I will use this every now and then, but as you can see from what's in the background, it won't get much use. I've also got my Mueller Travel Brush. A little synthetic in there, silver tip fibre brush, and it's absolutely stunning. And I used that one recently on a trip and had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. It just made a cracking lather. I'm just going to put things back as I go. I would normally leave it till the end, but why not? I'm going to enjoy this because it's probably my last day in walkthrough for quite a while. Brush guy brush. A sort of aqua fluorescent it, it, pearlescent it's just a beautiful beautiful brush 24 mil game changer or boss knot boss synthetic it's pretty much a game changer knot now the, the game changer and boss to me are probably the closest you're going to get out of a synthetic that feels like a natural hair fiber next one's a wolf whiskers blueberry pie color scheme i hope you can sort of see it's a little bit fingerprinty 24mm tuxedo knot, well, black wolf knot. To me, the black wolf and the tuxedo are pretty much the same knot. I can't tell a difference really on face feel. Beautiful little brush. Next up's my prized possession in the den at the moment. My wolf whiskers, purple haze, 25mm fan black wolf knot, 55mm loft. Beautiful brush. Then we've got my Commission brush for the channel, another cut above with Chris, made by TF Custom Sh Brushes. This one's Phantom Nebula, the colour. It's absolutely beautiful. 26mm tuxedo knot, very, very soft knot. It's not as soft as the tuxedos in this one here. It's not as soft as that, but it is very soft, but it's a denser knot. Then we've got the Razor Rock Monster. Used this recently. It's not a great face lathering knot, but it's soft, it's a nice knot, good size knot. It's not as nice as the knot in the Magatar brush, even though they look pretty much the same. Then we've got the Magard, but this one is just slightly softer. 26mm again, the granite brush, and then we've got this lovely Razor Rock 400, which was also sent to me by Oyve Chapel, and it's pretty much a game changer knot that's in there, and it's superb. So it's got a lovely weight to it, lovely handle. It's very comfortable to hold. Right, now the razors, from the last time I did it, I think I've thinned out quite a bit. This one was a piff from Ken Lee, and it will be piffed shortly as well. I'm actually going to be sending this over to another lad that I met on Facebook from Australia who wants to try a single edge blade. I don't get on with it. It doesn't suit my style at all. So I'm going to give it a good clean up and get that sent over. Well, that was a typical schoolboy error. I forgot to delete my videos. I actually deleted them and put them in the 
trash and then forgot to empty the trash so that's my fault again I'm sick of this splitting videos up all the time for no reason give you guys a bit of a break though so that was the Razor Rock Hawk aluminium chrome now we've got the Mercat 34C HD beautiful little razor very short it's not a not a long razor by any means you can see the length of my finger it's not in fact it's probably shorter than the length of my finger but a great little razor there's a lot of weight to it and then next up we've got the Mergress one of my sort of daily drivers I can dial this one up or down to whatever I need on the day and it's got the Kai blade still in it from yesterday then we've got the Razor Rock Wunderbar absolutely beautiful slant very smooth very comfortable razor but I've been having a couple of issues with rashes and things so it could be the razor it could be the soaps that I'm using it could be the blade I'm not sure I'm going to have to do a bit of experimentation with this razor just to figure out whether it's the razor or not if it is the razor I'm going to be absolutely gutted then we've got the timeless 0.95 open comb absolutely stunning razor Shaves like a milder than a 34C but feels like as efficient as this bad boy here, the R41. So this is the R41, twist a little knob just down here, twist that two piece razor and then slide your blade in. So that's the hardware and there's not much more I really want to add to it. I'm still on the wolf whiskers list for the next one but Let's see how we go. Now this one's changed a little bit. I've moved all my stuff now. So as you can see, all my blades up there. I think that's all my blades now. I don't think I've got blades anywhere else in the den. So that's everything that I own blade-wise. And the Persona down here, Persona Lab Blues. This is just my deodorant as well. I've got my styptic pencils over here. This is just sort of an everyday drive. I just, I just squirt that on every now and then just for the sake of it. Tea tree after shaving bump preventer. It's too big to fit in my drawers, so it's still in here. Little blade disposal case which is almost full. Nasal, well just a hair trimmer on there. And then we've got the lovely pink ingrown hair removers, tweezers, toothbrush for scrubbing up the stuff, and then I've got the, the Max Reed there which I've still got to use and sort of review again alongside the safety razor. Up in this one here, I've also got my little half pint jug and a nasal hair trimmer as well in there, which I don't really use. And I've got my little magnet up here which holds my carbon steel blades just to sort of keep them out aerated all the time. Right, we'll move over to this side of the, the toilet, the bathroom. I've got my Sapona Fichu Varacino bowl there, which is just sat on the tabletop. And then we've got all the Thea's and Humphrey. So we've got Thea's peach, Thea's medicated, Thea's lavender, Thea's lemon. Up here we've got Thea's natural, next to the wife's nice hairy brush. Then I've got Humphreys, just natural with hazel, no scent, apart from smoky bacon. Humphreys citrus, Humphreys violet, which is pretty much lavender, and then Humphreys cucumber and melon, just down there. And now we move into the, the new part of the room. This was actually, so this doorway here wasn't actually here five days ago. My dad and I knocked this hole through the wall here and built another walk-in wardrobe so there's my existing walk-in wardrobe which is choppers and this one will soon be all shelved and everything as well so we've just got some some cupboards yeah, some drawers and some cupboard space in here at the moment just to sort of fill up the space while we wait to do the rest of it so we'll just start on the top here after she splashes this is the ones that I use more often than not when I'm going out or whenever I'm doing anything sort of special so I've got Florida Water, which goes beautifully with Club Cola from Wickham. Mersol Blue, which goes with the Mersol Blue, but it's just a lovely powdery scent. I do like that one. The Brut Special Reserve, which uh, it's one of those ones that everyone should have in their den just for the sake of having it, but I do wear it quite a bit. It's quite nice. Colonel Conk's Bay Rum, which goes with the Bay Rum scents, scented soaps that I've got. My new addition to the den, which was you know, blew me away yesterday. My mum handed me a parcel and I dropped it off at the airport. Uh, Creed Aventus. 75 mil and it was well the receipt was in there it was 200 pounds so i was absolutely gobsmacked i couldn't believe it it was an aftershave i thought i would never own and luckily enough i managed to get it just a sheer i suppose love for a son i suppose uh, fine platinum right next to it because that's pretty much my that'll be my driver when i'm not using Aventus because i don't want to really use it unless it's special occasions calvin klein obsession 
for men, which I really enjoy. It's a nice set. I picked that one up from Stephen the Suffolk Shaver. I also picked up the Florida Waters from Stephen the Suffolk Shaver as well. And then we've got the Imperial Leather Classic, which is a classic and should be in everyone's day. And I love that scent. Absolutely brilliant. Nice little picture of me and the wife. Back when we first met about 12 years ago. Right, so moving on here. This is just, this top drawer here is just all tablets and paracetamol and crap and ointments. So, first draw. On the left we've got K-Shave Works, Limelight, and Coconut Barber. We've got Snow Dog Aftershave Splash with the Snow Dog Soap, Mentholated, Fizzy Orange, Grape Licious with the Grape Licious Splash, and then we've got the Wolf Spice as well. So the Wolf Spice and the Coconut Barber and both of the Wolf Whiskers scented soaps are made for Wolf Whiskers by K-Shave Works. Then we've got River Valley Trading Frosty Bay Rum, which is a superb soap, mentholated bay rum soap. The only mentholated bay rum I've come across and I absolutely love it, it's a great soap. Then on the back edge we've got Squadron Soaps, Australian Artisan, lovely, lovely soaps. Ace, Dutch Resistance, Group Captain Blend, Spitfire and The Warden. Then just at the back here I've got Sterling Glacial Wintergreen uh, Aloe and Witch Hazel Splash, which obviously goes with this soap here, but we'll get to that in a second. Then we've got 1912 range, I've got the blue, Palmer Violet, which I picked up in an unboxing yesterday but I lost the video, but I did do the video but I don't know what happened to it. Magnum, I was going to look at the side there but that's quite obvious that one. Classic 24, which is the Creedaventus scent, and I tell you what, that Classic 24 is pretty damn spot on to the Creedaventus that I've got in that bottle. Next one is Club Cola. And next up we've got Scottish Heather. This was gifted to me by... God, that's terrible. My memory's terrible. Sean Kent on Facebook. He sent that to my mum to bring over, or my dad to bring over. Then we're into Sterling, one of my favourite artisans alongside 1912. Wickham. Frozen Tundra, Wintergreen, Glacial, Mental Orange, Chill. Margaritas in the Arctic, which is absolutely beautiful. Eskimo Tuxedo Glacial, which I haven't tried yet. I'm looking forward to that. Menthol Black Ice, Coconut Lime with the Balm, Glacial Spearmint, which I haven't tried yet, I'll be sending that back over to Ken Lee at some point, Menthol Ice Pineapple with the Menthol Ice Pineapple Soap. So that's that draw done. Next up, another drawer of soaps. So up the back here we've got Shaver Heaven, Honey Ale, Fantasia, Hubba Hubba, then we've got three Kerry's Bubbles. Got Inju Agree, got Resentment, and the last superb, which is a bit of a mentally salt, which is actually quite nice, surprisingly. Then we've got Wolfpack Pinamite, Magard Orange Menthol, Holy Cost Lab Sublime, with the matching aftershave balm, Magard Limes and Bergamot. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD, looking forward to using this one as well. Cold River Soapworks Citrus, then we've got Phoenix and Bow Spitfire, Phoenix and Bow Albion, Phoenix and Bow Citra Royale. This tub annoys the hell out of me because it's actually got a bubble on the bottom. I don't know whether you can see that little bump there, so it doesn't sit flat. Pisses me off. Big Easy Soaps and Tinctures Flying Fortress. This is another one that I'll be probably giving away soon. Uh, I'll pay it forward, we'll see how we go. Viking Longship and Viking Hedeby. Very similar scented soaps. I've smelled both of these one after another recently, a couple of days after I did my video on this one. And they do actually smell different. They're just quite similar scents. There's something in them that are the same, but then there's something different as well. So I've also got the Hedeby post shave, after shave balm as well to go with the Hedeby. Shella, which I haven't used yet. I have actually, sorry, I have used it. But that was the head shave that I did a while back, which I recorded and tried to put on through iMovie on my phone and it deleted the movie and I lost it. So I have used it, but I haven't got a video up yet, so it will get used eventually and put up. Daffa Dragon Watermelon, absolutely lovely scent. Soap Commander Vision, beautiful light minty scent. Cracking soap, works really, really well. Then we've got Ogallala Bay Rum and Sweet Orange. This is lovely stuff as well. Just got to pay attention if you don't if you're not interested in using any palm related products. This one's got palm oil in it, so steer clear of this one if you don't want to use anything with palm oil. 
Wolfpack Sublime, this one will be heading to the state shortly, possibly today or tomorrow, whenever I get to the post office, uh, depending on how busy I am. Uh, just as I pay it forward and sort of trade with someone over there, uh, Rob Larimore. Steam Bath Factory Wizards Pipe Smoke, I think it is, Wizards Pipe, something like that. This stuff smells super, very strong scent, very lovely tobacco scent with the cherry, it's beautiful. Kilty Tiki, haven't used this one yet. Whiskey scented soap. I can smell the whiskey, it's a really odd scent, but I'm looking forward to using it all the same. That was all. Both of these were piffed to me by Ken Lee. Next up, we've got Castle Forbes Shaving Cream Lime Essential Oil. This was bought by my mum and sent over to me along with the Aftershave Balm, which is one of the best balms on the market, in my opinion. Then we've got Barrister and Man Lather, Petit Shepra, with the matching splash. And then we've got Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime with the matching splash. So I think that's it, that's draw number two. Draw number three is all balms, splashes, pre-shave and post-shave. And there's a big gap in the middle ready to be filled. <laughs> so in here, this is just a little tub that I used. I used it for Humphrey's Handmade Winter Green Soap, which is actually heading somewhere at the moment. Holy Cow Dark Vetiver, toner which is actually really nice and then I've got this as well which my mum brought over my dad bought some Tom Ford which was very expensive similar to Creed and this one is Plum Japoni it smells lovely it's a really strong sort of evening dinner wear sort of scent that's why I would put that sort of category of scents but it's lovely and there's a styptic gel in there and a couple of other bits and bobs we've then got these Gatsby I bought these in Bali these were about 79 cents a bottle and it's just that I use it when I'm playing football or anything like that I just squirt it over football shirts and stuff just for a bit of scent but that's about it Rogue Man I can't remember who makes that but it's quite nice there's not much left of it got Parasso Sensitive Parasso Blue Balms and then Parasso Green Splash at the back Tabac Old Spice Militia Uomo which is a really nice vetiver scented aftershave if you can get hold of that Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy, which you probably cannot see, I can't see it, but it's Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy. Then we've got Crown King Prickly Pear Pre-Shave Jelly, Prorasso Green Pre-Shave and Edwin Jagger Pre-Shave, all mentholated, love my menthol. Uh, Post-Shave Balm Sofilo de la Rosoil, which is very similar sort of properties to using the Cool Fix, but it's just not as poppy in your face, it doesn't really give that sting of that oomph. Never Men Sensitive Cooling. I've then got Milkman Post Shave Hydrating Gel, Bluebeard Revenge Cooling Moisturiser, the Cool Fix, and then uh, Thistle and Black Pepper by Scott, what's it called again, I can't remember, Men's Grooming, oh that's it, Scottish Fine Soaps Company. I've tried their soap before and it's terrible, but that balm is really nice, it's got a nice scent as well. Then got two Allen Blocks, well a Dio stick, which is the same as the Allen Block on the bottom, the Razor Rock one. Then I've got Brooks Post Shave Balm and Stray Whisker After Balm. We've got Nivea Two Phase, Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm, Nivea Men Original Splash, Cool Kick Post Shave Balm, Cool Kick Post Shave Balm, or Cooling Post Shave Balm Sensitive, and then we've got just normal original. And then I've got my Aventus box there for the Creed Aventus. That's that draw done. And on to the final draw which is sort of my, I, I would say this is sort of my lesser used soaps in a sense, but not really, I mean, my Ginger's Garden is beautiful. This one needs reusing again to see how it goes, the tr Trismegistus, and this Vanilla Patchouli is beautiful, but everything else in here, other than the Parasso and the Snake Bite, are probably going to end up being piffed and, and sold or traded or whatever. On this side here, I've got all, all these ones here are going to be sort of giveaways and piffs and things like that. There's a couple of palm olive sticks, a couple of styptic pencils. Four bottles of Two Phase, bottle of glycerin. Uh, we've got Aussie Ice by Shannon's, Uncle John's Cucumber Melon, Fig and Rum, which I had made for me. Pure Tool, which is made for damnfineshave.com. And it smells like green tea, that one. I couldn't remember what it was last time when I did my video on it. Uh, Parasso White, Parasso Green, Parasso Red, Snake Bite, which I have popped into that little tub there from the Stray Whiskey. Works an absolute treat. Bluebeard's Revenge Shaving Cream, Taconic Shave Cream Tequila Lime, which smells ghastly to me, but I will use it eventually. 
One of my favourite creams, this one, Omega. Really, really nice creme de barber. Mousse All Blue cream. Occam's cream, original. Grapefruit cream. Luxury cream. Has like a sandal holes or sandalwood. It's actually quite a nicely scented soap, that one. Now we've got Derby. And this one here is Synergy. Shaving soap, what was it called again? Meta Nectar. This one, I think this one's actually went off. But I'll just need to... I just need to see how I go with it. Hold on a minute. As you can see, it looks like that. But it actually smells. It smells like a Werther's original to me. The sort of sucky candy. That's the sort of scent I get from it. I don't, I don't get anything else from it, really. And that's it. I've got another tub here, which is the exact same as this one, which holds my Wrigley Tin Goat's Milk Shaving Soap. This stuff is superb. These were bought from River Valley Trading as well. And that's me guys, so... Let's see if I can get my face on there. There we go. Not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's uh, It's been a while since I've done a den walkthrough. It was a quick walkthrough. I can't be bothered pulling everything out and actually doing a scent profile and everything. You guys have seen it on the videos. And you'll see it in the upcoming videos as well, so... I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I shall leave you to it. Well, once again, I ran out of storage on my phone again, so you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's just down here, I think. And you guys take care of yourselves. Thank you. See you next time.